kind of disperse into all these different philosophical areas. I just like animism and um, hylozoism actually is a philosophy I didn't, didn't mention. Yeah, and then that's a prime example now because we see where there's an imperfection, there's an inefficiency of, of you know, one idea in philosophy is realism. Realism postulates that um, abstract ideas, concept, or knowledge are innate and independent of sensory perception, you know. Um, empiricism you now is a philosophy that opposes this by, by, by positing that um, abstract idea. The fourth is grandiosity, and the fifth one is pathological comp compulsion. You have impulsivity, you have distractibility, you have or the punchline, or what life to derive from is predicated on. So I started publishing three books simultaneously. The whole objective was to publish these books in, in papers. You travel so much. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite place you've been to? Mm, none. I appreciate each place for what it has to offer. Uh, any highlights? Mm? Any highlights? Mm. Do you so this is, this is real stuff I find intriguing. Mm. Right. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's infinitely intriguing. It is. You can't really ever know the answer. Down. What is amplitude, frequency, velocity? Why do we hear octave? But that's just from a physics perspective. Like precognition, premonition, clairvoyance, retrocognition, um, lucid dream, um, extrasensory perception. We can cross-disciplinary, multidisciplinary, transdisciplinary, and interdisciplinary areas.